as the wood comes in, it's dated. And so we can keep track of which wood has been here the longest and, and uh, has had a chance to acclimate to our environment. Um, in the case of swamp ash, swamp ash is a very inconsistent tree. Even in the tree itself, if you cut a board from the lower part of the tree, it'll be much lighter than a board from the higher part of the tree where it's denser. And so what we do is we take um, the denser part of the tree and we save it for the base side of the instrument. And then we combine that with the less dense part of the tree, the more resonant part of the tree, and we save that for the treble side. And so you actually get a slight variance in tone. You get a little bit more um, solid response out of the bass and a little bit more resonant response out of the trebles.